All right, I want to talk about something real fast. Now, I uploaded a video yesterday, and I had um, a clip in there where I was um, asking people if they wanted to support the channel, they could buy these shirts. However, I decided to reverse it and take it down. Now, the reason why I did that is because I don't want people to get the wrong impression about me. I'm not trying to use God in no way, form, or fashion of making money at all. Now, also, I want you to understand that if a ministry, for those who may not know, if a ministry is trying to raise funds for a certain cause, for something that's going to build up the ministry, if, it's, if the money that you are getting is going to benefit God's church, then it's absolutely nothing wrong with raising money selling something in order to use it for the kingdom of God. And it's also nothing wrong with someone donating money to that cause. It's nothing wrong with if someone want to give the preacher a love offering or some sort of offering, okay? It's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So just because someone posts uh, uh, something selling something, well, you need to find out what's the cause and what's the reason why they're trying to sell. Are they doing it for their own personal gain and they're using Jesus to make money? Then if so, that's a problem. And so if you out there doing that, if you selling something for your own personal gain and trying to use Jesus to get it, you need to repent and turn away from that. You better turn away from that stuff, all right? Because we cannot use God for filthy lucre's sake, all right? Don't be guilty of using the name Jesus to try to sell something so that you could make money. Now, if you're trying to raise money because you're trying to, let's say, you're using it for church space, for, for rental space, or for rental bills or something, or you're trying to buy some sort of gospel tracks or something to pass out to people, it de you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that. It depends on your purpose. Now, I decided to remove it from mine because at, at the moment right now, I don't need to raise the money for anything that um, for the ministry, for his renting space, anything like that, so I took it down. All right. And I don't want people to get the wrong impression. But you could best believe if I'm raising money for something that pertains to the kingdom of God, I'm going to let people know. But like, hey, I'm selling these shirts so that I could use the money so I could do this for the kingdom of God, because everything costs money. All right. Just because you into uh, to the Lord and you into the ministry don't mean everything comes free. All right. God not naive like that where he don't understand things cost money it costs money to rent out space it costs money to buy a building it costs money to um to pay bills at that place it costs money to do if you want gospel trade it costs money for everything if you want to pass out bibles guess what it costs money because you got to buy the bibles it costs money in this world it's nothing wrong with making money in this world but we don't want to use god to make profit all right. So now, and, and let me give you a little brief story here with Jesus in the book of John chapter two, starting at verse 12, it says, after this, he went down to Capernaum, he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. And the Jews Passover was at hand and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting. All right. So Jesus went inside the, the temple and seen people selling things. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the money, the, the changers money and overthrew the tables and said unto them that sold doves, take these things hence, make not my father's house and house of merchandise. And his disciples remember that it was written, the zeal of thine house had eaten me up. All right. So we by no means want to make God's house. Even if you're not in a physical building, you are the temple of God. OK, and you don't want to sell things or try to make profit using God. 
All right. We don't want to do that. We don't want to stand before Jesus and got to give an answer for that. So if you doing that, if you selling things on your uh, on your channel or your website and it's not to build the kingdom in some way, then you need to repent. You need to get rid of that stuff. You need to turn away from it. All right. Only to build the kingdom should you be taking money because it, you know, money is needed. All right. In the ministry. But if you're not using the money for the ministry, don't be using Jesus to make no money. All right. Don't do that. <clears throat> and if you one of these YouTubers or somebody out here who using Jesus and you, you talk about Jesus and you, you're selling something, you're trying to sell your book, you're trying to sell your shirts or you're trying to do different things to draw income into yourself. Repent. Turn away. Repent. Turn away from it. Don't fall into the judgment of God for that. All right? So I want to make that clear for myself. I am not about to use God to make money. But when it's a need where I need to make money for God, then I'm going to let the people know. But like, hey, I'm raising money for this purpose. So I'm selling these shirts or I'm selling something else because I'm trying to earn money because Maybe I'm trying to go out on ministry and I'm trying to feed some people in the name of Jesus. So it costs money and I don't have enough money myself. All right. So when I get ready to do that, I will let you know. Otherwise, <clears throat> I just want to give this video to tell people to repent and to give you the reason why I took the stuff down from my last video I just posted. Now, many people didn't see that video. All right. Because I took it down real fast. But other than that. I'm about preaching the word of God. I'm about preaching repentance. I'm about getting others to turn to Jesus and follow in the ways of God. All right. So until then, I will see you in the next video.